Hello everyone. So this is the newest version of Comsol. Uh, today is 15th December and this is Comsol version uh, 6.3. The UI is a bit different than the previous versions and let me first go through a few of the important features that I just explored comparing with the older version. The first version that you may have heard is the chatbot support. So if you go to windows and if you click on chatbot, you can actually enable the chatbot here. So to activate it, you go on to file and uh, preference and inside of preference, you can go to the chatbot and you can paste your API key. You can just Google API key, chat GPT, something like that. And you can sign in to get your API key if you have access to it. And you can click on OK. And then you can write your prompts and get your work done. So this is one of the new feature that is added in version uh, 6.3. So one more interesting feature that I found very useful is that if you open the older and newer version side by side, then I think it will be more prominent. So as you can see, this is version uh, 6.2 and this is version uh, 6.3, right? So in the 6.2, you can see that I just added a 3D component in both of them. And you can see that you can see that in 6.2, the buttons were not properly arranged or like it doesn't feel that great. But in 6.3, the tabs are very nicely arranged, even if you use in a split screen mode. So this is very useful, especially when let's say you are reading a research paper or a patent or anything like that on one side of your screen. And you are trying to create a model by going through all the parameter and stuff. In those cases, in most of the time, you have to uh, use split screen if you are using a single monitor. So this is something that I found really interesting. So if you go to other tabs, for example, in definition, you can see that this is more cleaner than the older version. Even if you go to geometry, you see it is a bit cramped and it doesn't look that great. But in the 6.3, even if there are less buttons, it looks and it feels nice and also it is easy to work. So I think the newer version, the uh, custom window size mode or dynamic uh, adjustment of the buttons and the tabs is really nice in the new one. One more interesting feature that I found in the new version or it's also there in their website is that if you press alt plus h you can actually see uh, the shortcuts or the namings here so let's say i want to import so i can press i right as it is shown so if i press i the import option will show up so similarly if i press a3 the add material will pop up so i think this is a bit nice it will save a lot of time especially when you are mostly on your keyboards since most of the features are somewhat there in the home tab itself another interesting feature is the new data viewer so uh, when you are working with uh, larger models and you have like uh, hundreds of different parameters it is very useful when um, you can actually see the parameter list. Uh, for example, if I go to home and inside of windows, if I click on data viewer, you can actually see all the parameter uh, data variable that you have declared. So since I have parameter one here in this model, so I just have parameter one. And if I open, you can actually see the parameter values. In most cases, these are very useful if you need to reference the values every time. Previously, what you have to do, you, you have to every time like go through different physics settings and then check on the variable if it is declared or not and so on. So this feature is really nice in some specific cases. And since this is optional, you can always close it. And then whenever you need, you can just 
open and click on data viewer right so this feature is really nice and is available in this new version of console another interesting feature that i found nice to use is that let's say i created a block okay and now you do some operation so i'll go to transform maybe i'll create an array so let's say i want to create a 444 grid at a spacing of two on all the sides right so i now have the blocks now if i click on the default view you see there will be a nice animation to zoom out to the whole model that was previously not there right so this small a uh, feature uh, feels really nice when you are working with uh, models so these are not like they will enhance your results or something but it really feels nice to work it feels modern and uh, it just feels good so i just thought to show you so let's say if i move at some other direction if i click this there's a nice ease in animation to actually move this and make your model so that's all in this short video thank you for watching and do subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos in research and related topics